we are going to talk about buffers. A buffer is a solution that lessens the impact on the pH of the addition of acid or base. There are two major types of buffers. Acidic buffers and basic buffers. Acidic buffers are combinations of strong acids and their weak conjugate bases. Their pH is less than 7. Basic buffers are solutions of strong bases and their weak conjugate acids. Their pH is greater than 7. Note that the stronger an acid or a base is, the weaker is its conjugate. The conjugate base of an acid is the acid that donated, therefore lost, the hydrogen proton, thus, becoming more negative. In this case, ammonia or NH3 is the acid that donated and lost a hydrogen proton to the water molecule, producing hydrogenated water and NH2. As you can see, NH3 became more negative while H2O became more positive due to the gain of H protons. Let's look at a base and its conjugate. The conjugate acid of a base is the base that gained a hydrogen proton from an acid and became more positive. In this example, NH3 acted as the base and H2O acted as the acid. In the product side of the equation, NH3 gained an H proton and became more positive. Let's proceed with buffers. Buffers play a significant role in controlling pH. To successfully fulfill this goal, one must be able to discern how much acid, base, or its conjugate is needed to attain a certain pH. Luckily, there is an equation that can be used to compute for these variables. It is the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. For acidic buffers, pH is the negative logarithm of the concentration of H+, or the difference of 14 and the pOH if the pOH is given. pKa is the negative log of the acid dissociation constant Ka, A negative is the concentration of the conjugate base or the salt. HA is the concentration of the acid. This equation can also be used for bases, they're basically the same but account for different values. For basic buffers, pOH is the negative log of the concentration of the H, P can be is the negative log of the KB of base dissociation constant. HB plus is the concentration of the conjugate acid or salt, and B is the concentration of the base. pOH can also be equal to 14 minus the pH. Now let's see how the henderson hasselbalch equation works by trying to solve this problem. For example, we have a solution of 0.1 m acetic acid and 0.2 m sodium acetate. Below is the formula for both dissociation and to their ions. Before we proceed, we need to identify first what type of buffer we are dealing with, whether it is an acidic or basic buffer. Here are the two equations that we may use. First off is the acidic Henderson equation. Secondly, we have the basic Henderson equation. This particular solution happens to be an acidic buffer. We plug in the values and the resulting equation is. We get the 0.2 from the 0.2 M from the sodium acetate sense. And we get the 0.1 from the acetic acid. The resulting pH of the equation is 5.04575491 or approximately 5.05. This same set of equations may also apply to basic buffers but with slight alterations. The Kb value must be used instead of the Ka value. Instead of a negative log of the conjugate acid over the weak acid it uses the negative log of the conjugate acid over the weak base. The equation for basic Henderson looks for the pOH value instead of the pH value.
For the summary and some clarifications, you can write these down or take screenshots. Buffers are solutions that lessen the impact on pH upon the addition of an acid or a base. Acidic buffers are strong acid plus weak conjugate base Basic buffers are strong base plus weak conjugate acid. The conjugate base of an acid is the acid minus H plus. The conjugate acid of a base is the base plus H plus. Stronger acids have weaker conjugate bases. Stronger bases have weaker conjugate acids. The henderson hasselbach equation is used to compute for the pH of buffer solutions given the values of the other variables. pKa and pKb are given or available from some sources, unless it is the one being solved for. When a word is enclosed within brackets, it pertains to the concentration of the word. This equation can also be used to solve for the other variable aside from pH, given the needed values. pH can only be used with pKa and A- over HA, and POH can only be used with PKB and BH plus over B. Do not be confused with which to plug in the equation or with which values to use. The PKA and the PKB account for most of the pH. The concentration of the conjugate acid or base and the concentration of the salt are directly proportional with the pH and the pOH. This means that increasing the concentration of the conjugate and the salt will result to higher pH and pOH. The concentration of the acid and the concentration of the base are inversely proportional with the pH and the pOH. So increasing the concentration of the acid and the concentration of the base will result to lower pH and pOH. P means negative logarithm of, for instance, pH means negative logarithm of the concentration of hydrogen. To compute for the concentration of H plus given the pH ROH minus given the pOH, substitute the pH into 10 raised to negative pH or pOH. Thank you for watching.